Hi guys, this is Matthias, and I finally decided to make one of those videos that is long overdue. I should have done this years ago, and I want to just quickly explain some of the basics when it comes to your sound settings in Discord. That's the program we're using here, but basically the same thing applies to whether or not you're using uh, TeamSpeak or Ventrilo, Mumble. There's, there's plenty of different uh, voice over IP programs out there. Right now, I'm using Discord. And, uh, well, what you want to do if you are not using push to talk is that the first thing you do is that you click on this little cogwheel down on the left side next to your name. Click it like this. You get to this uh, window here. And then you click on voice and video. Now here is the key setting. Here it says input sensitivity. If you don't have push to talk activated, that is. And uh, what's important here is that when you're talking, when you're using your voice, that is, then your voice should be loud enough or strong enough so that it goes above this little slider here. Right now it's set to minus 48 decibels. The important thing, however, also is that it's not far enough to the left so that noise such as when your mother is doing something in the kitchen or your siblings are fighting, maybe your dog is barking, those things that are in the background that comes from like another room or whatever should not be heard. And uh, normally those noises are so low that they're not gonna, they're not gonna peak or they're not gonna make this bar uh, move as much to the right as your voice. So if your slider here is set properly, then your voice is going to be heard, but none of the background noises will. So um, I'm going to demonstrate this. Now, when I'm recording this, I'm using OBS, and on OBS I don't have these settings. So you're going to hear this when I, when I tap aggressively on my keyboard here, for example. That's a little demonstration. Now, this kind of sound, as you can tell, it, does, it isn't strong enough for it to reach above the slider here, where I have to hold my mouse now. So my teammates in Discord would not be able to hear that. And the same thing would be if there was some noise in the kitchen or if there's something outside the, the neighborhood or whatever, or, you know, um, somebody in the hallway, something like that. And this is key in order not to annoy your teammates. So you want to make sure that you do this before you join a new community. And another thing that's important to understand about this is that all the information you need in order to know whether or not you have this properly set up in the first place is right here in this window. You don't need to bother your, your friends with it, ask them if your sound is okay or whatever, because it, you can tell by looking at, at this, this little slider here. You can tell by watching this bar move if it's okay or not. So yeah, don't be that guy that starts off joining a new community making some new friends by being annoying in, t in Discord or TeamSpeak because it, uh, yeah, it, it could be a little bit of a rough start. And one of the problems with this is that if somebody has to tell you that your sound is not good, your sound is annoying to the rest of the people or you're, you're bothering people, then it can very easily be misunderstood as uh, somebody being rude or, you know, you could be offended if you might be one of those little bit sensitive people. So make sure that you have this properly set up in the beginning and also keep in mind that input sensitivity and input volume are two completely different things. Do not confuse these two things. I, I see a lot of people confusing these two things. If your sound is too low and people can't hear you because this volume is too low, then it's this input volume. It's here you need to adjust it. And, well, if you have a problem hearing uh, your teammates, then, yeah, it's, it's this slider here on the right. But when it comes to whether or not your voice is heard and not the background noise, or especially not your keyboard, then it's this slider in the middle. And now it seems like Discord crashed for me, but I guess we got it all um, explained. So I would say thank you for watching, and, uh, yeah, bye for now.